Hello everyone, welcome to The British Entrepreneur. I'm John Joseph Borgery, and as I always say, if you don't understand money, you'll never have any. In this video, I'm going to give you five side hustles that will make you money from home in 2023, and then I'm gonna give you an extra one if you wanna leave home. Let's get straight to the video. Creating and selling online courses. Online courses are one of the best ways you can generate money in 2023. Some reports have said that by 2025, that industry alone is gonna be worth over 300 billion pounds. And this is unbelievable news for anyone who's got a skill at home and wants to make cash out of it. Almost everyone has got a skill, some good, some bad, but if you've got a good skill, there's probably someone in the world willing to learn from you and pay you money for it. And there's probably, if you've got a really good skill, thousands of people that are ready to pay you. And I'm not talking OnlyFans, although there's quite a lot of money in that apparently. Someone told me they paid four billion out to creators last year. There's a really good chance that you've got a skill. Your skill might be something like video editing, producing, Photoshop, graphic design, and any one of these skills you can make money from by doing an online course. And one of the best things about this is that you don't need to create a website or an online payment gateway. All you need is a mobile phone or a laptop to create a course. And once you've created a course, you can use websites such as Skillshare to upload your course and start selling to people. The other great thing about online courses if you is you haven't got to worry about a supply chain issue or stock or anything like that, or having to wait for things to arrive from China. And they're also very scalable. So you can sell one to a thousand, it's not gonna make much difference in, the, in your cost price. And once you get going, there's no end to the amount of customers you can get. You can end up with like a thousand to a hundred thousand customers. It's just literally, there's no end to it. And setting them up is really, really cheap. It's pretty much just your time. And once you've set it up, it's just a passive income that can keep coming every month. A lot of people that do things like fitness, this type of thing, they, they'll they market it so it's for January every year and stuff like that. So, But depending on what you do, it can be all year round or once a year. It purely depends on how much time you wanna put in and when you wanna sell it. Once it's all set up, you just have to market it. And I know people that have been doing courses and making 40 to 50 grand in a day, depending on the time of year. So just make sure you come up with a really, really cool course for everybody figure out when you, how you wanna market it, and then just get selling. Another way to make money is beta testing. This is actually something that I used to do back in the day when I was studying. Uh, a lot of advertising companies out there use focus groups and they need people to sit there and test products. You can do this at home now. The benefit for the ad company is that they get to do testing for their products. Uh, you basically test them out, give feedback, let them know what's good, what's bad. Sometimes they get their best advertising strap lines from these groups, but everyone that's involved in it gets paid. And sometimes you get paid a lot of money. I think like, back in the day, I remember doing one for Lynx, where we basically went in and sprayed deodorant in our, on our armpits. And we were like, this is great. And they'll give you like 200 quid. I, actually, I remember one guy I used to know, every morning he used to go somewhere and shave. He used to, uh, for Gillette, and basically he, he would get like 50 pounds a week um, for just having a shave every morning. And that made, that paid for his car, um, his finance for his car. So there's, there's things like that you can do online now and they're brilliant. The great thing about those these testing sites is that you can do as many as you want. Um, some take a little bit longer than the others, but it's literally, if you wanna earn money, you just log on and you start taking part in them and you just do it from your phone. Stock photography. I know at first you'll be like, well, I'm not a photographer. If you've got a good phone nowadays, which everyone mostly has, you can take photos of pretty much anything and sell them online. Not everything, but most things. Literally, there's people out there that take photos of trees or roadkill or bugs or the moon at night. like. It's, you can take photos of anything and sell it. And nowadays there's also really, really cheap ways of editing your photos. I use Lightroom personally, and I think I pay something like 20 quid a month for the whole Adobe uh, Creator account. You can spend a couple of days over the weekend figuring out how to use it. There's lots of YouTube tutorials. Once you've found a niche and you start taking photos of things, you can upload them to websites such as Getty Images, Shutterstock, um, there's, there's various different websites online. So 
Take some amazing pictures, learn how to edit them in Photoshop or Lightroom and start uploading. Some images on Getty, I believe, make from 50 pounds upwards for one photo. Uh, there are other websites where you can get between sort of 15 pounds and 360 pounds an image. Like it's insane how much money you can make. And if 10 people buy an image at 300 quid, that's three grand. So start researching those places, have a look online, but they're incredible ways of earning money. And the good thing about it is that your photo will just stay on there forever and people will just buy it as and when. You can do it with video footage, you can do it with absolutely everything so look into it because it's a really good way of making money the other great thing about those sites as well is that you don't have to even pay to use them so it's literally just your time and uploading your images to the site and just to keep con creating content so that you've got more and more images creating money for you over time you can also become an online freelancer in the past few years considering what's happened most people have started working from home everyone started to learn how to make money from their laptops. If you look at inflation and how everything is sort of panning out over the next year, most people's jobs don't earn them enough to like pay their bills. And this is a huge problem. So becoming an online freelancer is a great way of making money in the extra hours that you've got in the day. Some of the things that you can do as an online freelancer is content writing for YouTube videos, uh, graphic design, programming, web development, uh, video editing, all these types of things. The other good thing about it is that you get to choose what you work on, which is a godsend. And you get to also choose the price you wanna charge people. So you can do one job a week or a hundred jobs a week, depending on what you wanna charge people. But depending on your skill as well, um, you can get away with charging quite a lot of money to some people. Uh, three good sites that I actually use to find people to help work for me is People Per Hour, Fiverr uh, and Upwork. Upwork's really, really good. But these websites connect you with people all over the world and you can get people to... I remember once with a, a sound issue that I had with a podcast like a couple of years ago, I actually paid the guy 20 quid and he completely redesigned the sound. It was incredible. You can put any skill on there and make money from it. It's absolutely incredible. Becoming a tutor. If you're good at subjects such as math, English, anything like that, or foreign language, becoming a tutor now online is very, very lucrative and very, very easy to set up. With being a tutor as well, you can do it from home. You can do it on Skype, Zoom, WhatsApp call. There's literally, and, and when it comes to the subjects that you can teach, it's literally unbelievable. Someone I know, they have a tutor for kids that need to um, learn more of their subjects at school. Uh, and parents out there, you know what they're like with their kids, they pay an absolute fortune. So the great thing about this as well is that you do it from home. You can teach on Skype, Zoom, WhatsApp video call, and the amount of subjects is endless. And let's be realistic, if, you're, if parents are paying for their kid to like learn extra math, realistically, if you're teaching eight-year-old math, it's gonna be easy. So, you know, depending on the subject you pick, this is a really, really great way of, of earning lots of money. And it's something as well that people do when they travel. So if you wanna travel the world and you wanna make some extra money while you're traveling, something like this is absolutely perfect. And if you get really good at it as well, you can make your own website and then it's scalable. So. Once you start doing it, you'll, it will open up more doors and ideas, and then you can scale it, and before you know it, you're making thousands of pounds a month. It's unbelievable. And then last but not least, if you wanna get out and about, and you wanna be old school like me, then one of the things I actually did when I was studying is I was an extra. The benefits of being an extra is that you make good money. Back then I was making like 200 quid a day, and I stood around doing nothing most of the time, uh, and then, I remember I think I was bowling in one of the TV shows and that was pretty much it for the day. And um, for 200 quid, that's not bad. And depending on what agency you end up working with, you could end up in as, as an extra in like Game of Thrones or Ricky Gervais's new show or anything like that. So it's really, really interesting work. I even met people before that were doing it full time as well. I mean, I don't know if that's something that people wanna do, but as a bit of a side hustle that's really good fun, being an extra is something I would absolutely highly recommend. And if any of you do the extra work and you meet Ricky Gervais, just let him know that he's my number one podcast guest. And uh, if you somehow manage to convince him to come on my podcast, I will absolutely love you forever. So yeah, those are my 
my tips to making extra money out and about and from home. And yeah, I think with what's going on, this recession that we're all like worrying about that's starting to happen, I think it's always good to learn new skills, spend some time online on YouTube uh, to figure out how to do a bit of graphic design or video editing or anything like that, even for yourself. And yeah, and good luck in 2023 because I think we're gonna need it. We're about to go into hibernation phase and yeah just you know i always like the saying if you're not learning you're not living so good luck in 2023